Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 24th, 2020. This is my 44th episode about the programming language C++ 20 standard. I actually closed this series of videos, but I decided to film two or three more videos about this series. Because in episode 36, SDD any tutorial one custom type conversion operator. In this video, I explain the basics about how to use SDD any. And Mr. KB left a message. He is saying the problem I find using SDD any is that we have to know what type is being stored to be able to retrieve it without error. For example, if I create a fox heterogeneous list using stdne, then every element must store a value that can be used to access its specific type. The complexity seems to grow geometrically as the number of possible types increase. I initially incorporated a simple switch, then I used polymorphism and driver classes, but the same problem. As the number of types increase, the program grows beyond what I find reasonable. Say, this is the same problem related to STD variant. In case of STD variant, the number of allowed types are inherent in case of STD variant. But in case of STD any, the void pointer version of C++, it can go wild. The complexity seems to grow geometrically as the number of possible types increase. He, Mr. KB, gives me the correct answer. In his problem, I can see the solution. The solution is very simple. Constrain the possibility of types. Constrain the number of allowed types for SCD any. Then the question is how? In this session and the next session, I will help you resolve this problem. It's simple. You can just constrain the allowed types for SCD any. So, episode 36 is must watch video if you want to understand my current session. Without further ado, Let's get started. Start your Visual Studio code. Open your working folder. Select this button 044 constraint any one. Hit enter. Click this button talk play fun any dot hpp. Hit enter. Click this button any dot cpp. Hit enter. Control B. In this file, talk play fun any HPP. If not def talk play fun any HPP define paste and if end of file copy paste. In this file, include talk play fun output HPP include talk play fun any dot hpp talk play fun s stream stream auto and l talk play fun and l void test any int main copy this function name copy paste now right click go to definition from here up to this point, copy, paste, cut, paste, like this. Now scroll down, copy this part, copy, paste, at the end of file, copy, paste. Now, any, copy, paste, paste, Face, face, face. So please arrange your file like this. 
here any 20 0, 7, 24 if you click this part then it should be resolved like this okay I think this is bug I made a mistake here I fixed okay now at this point include talk play fun types HPP here namespace talk play fun types end of namespace talk play fun types now we are creating a template class template type name element types class any end of class any now I will close it here we declare talk play fun types any int short double a now we build I will use clan compiler cd044 constraint any one clan plus plus std c plus plus 17 any dot cpp ltvv o a dot dxe okay it built don't worry about this part of code okay just pay attention to this part only after this episode i will upload this source code to my website you can download it i will explain one by one very slowly now i will change the function name underscore one test element types copy paste it here like this now public using element types t unique types t element types using pointer types t unique types t std add pointer t element types like this using element pointer types t union type t element types t pointer types t okay i will i will put carriage return for easier read now we test these types first okay stream decl type a has member element type and there we are testing this type okay this type is this type i will put a note around element types copy around pointer types this is not around pointer types helper pointer types element and pointer types here pointer types we are calling this member function okay copy paste now we are testing this type copy paste now we build again cls a so if we define an element of type any 
int shot double this is allowed element type int shot double helper pointer type integer pointer shot pointer double element and pointer types int shot double integer pointer shot pointer double pointer now here I will put int int is repeated shot shot is repeated okay now we build again CLS we inserted int here shot here but these are repeated so repeated elements int shot are removed you understand so we are using unique type this function this function is defined here in the same manner we use union type union type is defined here now I hope you understand what element type what pointer type what element pointer types these are member types if you do not understand please pause the video and think about this now underscore to test constructors copy this function paste it here disable it here protected std any m any public we create constructor any this is default constructor m any now std any std return m any copy once again faced constant constant no except no except template type name type type name enable if in list t remove cv reference t type any this is constructor type argument m any std forward type arg this is constructor now we test this constructor sorry i missed one more angle bracket now we test this constructor using constraint any t talk play fun types any int double around type int and double constraint I will just say any any t any t a 3 it works it works because 3 is over type int we build again no matching constructor sorry it should be let's try like this 66 66 sorry we have to provide element type okay if this type is in this list then this function is enabled otherwise this function this constructor is disabled we build again it works now any t t 3.4 it works it works but 
any tf 3.5 plot please note that this plot plot is not in the list so it does not build at line 32 error no viable conversion from plot to any line 32 line 32 okay if we put plot then it works so if type is not in the list element types t this constructor is disabled now copy constructor any constant any default any any default this is move constructor any operator constant any default this is copy assignment any operator any default this is move constructor I will copy this copy face value assignment operator now here any operator type arg this m any this is internal element std forward type arg now we can test like this app c this is not allowed because character is not in the list if we build it does not work lines 34 no viable overloaded equal because we have not included character now i will disable it for example a 5 ll this does not work because long long is not included here if we build again 36 36 if we put long long here now it works we build again sorry we forgot to return return this we build again it should work if we remove this we remove long long it does not work no it doesn't i will disable it so this part works perfectly now we will implement a member function that retrieves the internal value like this template type name type type name enable if in list remove cv reference t type now we scroll up scroll up we are using this list it include both element type and the pointer type now scroll down paste it here one two enter return type get if context peer std is point of v we are testing if type is pointer remove cv reference t type so type is pointer type then return std any cast type ampersand this m any else return std any cast type 
this and any. This is not yet perfect. Once again, this is not yet perfect. This is pointer type. Okay? We tested if type is pointer type. In this case, we have to provide ampersand here, but we have to remove pointer type. So, we should fix std remove pointer t type. This is correct. If you are uncertain about this, copy, paste, please refer to this documentation. For example, A is any, std any, we are returning pointer type. This is int. I will copy this link, copy, paste. In this case, this is pointer type. We have to remove pointer like this. We should not provide integer pointer here. So, type is pointer type. We remove pointer. Okay, let's test this function. Void 3 test get. Now copy this function, copy, paste, disable it. I will copy this. I will remove plot. Any T A, for example, 5 B 3.4. Yes, this work. Then auto a a a get int auto a ptr a sorry this is function integer pointer stream y is giggle I just say ptr a a a a and then copy, paste, ptr, ptr, okay? We assign the 5 to any, we retrieve the value of a, like this syntax, this is ptr, so we build again, cls a, okay? It works perfectly. Now, we want print out function after end of class any template type name type type name types struct sd print any don't forget semicolon here template type name any type static void print any std o stream os any type a if auto ptr std any cast type this type comes from here we call please note that this any is in protected so we have to use std std is public interface and it returns m any so scroll down here a std we can return pointer it is ptr if it is valid then os print out ptr else if it failed then we call recursively if context peer size of these types is not equal to zero, then we call this function recursively like this. Copy, paste, we provide types, then from this class we call this function again. We pass OS and std forward any type a 
This is recursion. Now with this here template type name element types std o stream operator std o stream os constant any element types a we are calling this function element types this class has print any os just a in this case we don't need std forward this is good enough we have to return os because its return type is o stream with this void underscore po test output now i copy this part copy stream a equals a and l b b now we do not need to concern about the type of a or the type of b copy paste disable it build again cls a now in this code we do not need to concern the type of a the internal type of b it displays and access correct value for example auto aa we make a copy auto bb we make a copy aa aa bb bb cls it works perfectly now scroll up scroll up we can define operators too now here copy we can define operator then this get type using type remove cv reference t type then put type here we extracted the value internal value std forward type arg for example i will define like this this is member function then here aa7 bb 0.6 now we build again here reference cls voila we can define operators arbitrarily i just showed one example here we don't need to care about the internals before i wrap up this episode i will give you one more functions now here std print any i will copy this function copy paste now this function returns std string the function name current type we don't need os now here please note that we are returning string current type current type is this type so return talk play fun get type name here type else we are calling this function recursively then we return else we return dummy string to suppress syntax error this part never really executed now we created this function then 
I copy, paste, std, string, current, type. We don't need all string. Then return print any current type. We don't need OS. With this, here, stream current type of AA, talk flat fun types current type. And then copy once again, paste current type OBB. BB. If we build CLS A, so AA's current type is integer, BB's current type is double. Now AA 3.4, BB 21. I copy this part again, paste, we build again. CLS A. Initially, AA's type is int. Okay? AA's type is int. We now change AA's type. Then AA's type double. In this case, BB's type is double. BB's type. Now we assign integer, then BB's type is int. So, this current type returns string value of the current type. This function can be handy when you do debugging. Also, in this function, I will create another one, or around types constant, no except, return element types t context peer the syntax is weird, isn't it? Then here you can say stream around types of AA, AA around types, std, and then copy once again. Why is giggle? No, 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 no. This is function. Okay, this is function. Around the type of bb, bb, this is function, member function. Why is giggle? Around types. I will delete context peer. Also, no except. Let's try it. We rebuild. Wow. Sorry. We can say context peer no except. Now we build. If we run it, around the type of AA, around the type of AA is int double, around the type of BB is int double. I will film one or two more videos to resolve the problem. The complexity seems to grow geometrically as the number of possible types increase. If we constrain the number of types using std any is just simple piece of cake.